Hey everyone, I'm Sean Scott for DLAT Industrial. Today we are going to show you how to wire a DLAT motorized electric ball valve with on-off type wiring. Motorized electric ball valves are commonly used in plumbing and heating and cooling applications. A typical application that anyone can use them for is to act as an automatic control solution for the main water shutoff in your house. In this tutorial, we are using DLAT SKU number D1774499, which consists of a 24 volt AC actuator and a two way brass valve. However, you can do this with actuators of all voltage ranges, provided you have the correct power source. The 24 volt AC actuator we're using today uses low voltage wiring and all the other components involved use low voltage wiring as well. So if low voltage is an option, it is much preferred over using 110 volt power for many reasons, including cost, ease of wiring long distances from the 110 volt power source to the valve, ease of wiring underground if necessary, and safety. The actuator will have three wires. The blue wire is the negative or neutral, the brown wire is the positive, and the black wire is the controlling wire, which is also positive. Note that this DLAT motorized electric ball valve is sold in models with or without a manual override handle built into the actuator. The manual override handle is a useful option for several reasons. If the electric on off function fails, the valve can be operated manually until the faulty actuator can be replaced. To manually open or close, press down on the button on the actuator and turn the gray switch. When the button is released, the switch will lock in place. This prevents the handle from being moved inadvertently. As you can see, the valve is open when the switch is in this position and the valve is closed when the switch is in this position. The valve is comprised of two components, the ball valve and brass for potable water and the 24 volt electric actuator that contains the motor allowing the valve to open and close. The actuator is mounted on top of the valve and is easily removed and remounted for easy installation, maintenance and replacement if necessary. This saves time and effort since the valve itself does not have to be removed from the piping if the actuator should fail or need to be rewired for some reason. The on-off actuator has three wires, blue, brown, and black. To operate the valve, the blue wire is continuously connected to the 24 volt transformer's neutral connection. The brown wire is connected to the 24 volt transformer's line connection, and the black wire connects the, the 24 volt transformer's line connection through a switched connection. The valve opens when the switch connection is completed between the black wire and the 24 volt transformer's line connection. The valve closes when the switch connection is not completed between the black wire and the 24 volt transformer's line connection. In the event of a power outage, the valve will remain in its current condition and not change when power is restored. Let's go over how to wire the actuator and the parts that you will require. Power from a normal residential outlet, a heavy gauge power strip with multiple grounded outlets, a normal residential light switch, a 24 volt transformer, a low voltage wire, a three wire bundle, and wire nuts or other wire connections like the push connections we have here. Waterproof versions are required if connections are underground or exposed to water. Let's do a dry run now to see how this works. So install the actuator on the valve and determine the state of the valve by looking through the valve body. Normally the valve will be in the open position and you can see completely through the valve body. Attach the actuator's blue wire directly to the neutral connection on the transformer, or if you require more length, use one or more of the wires on a three wire bundle. Attach the actuator's brown wire directly to the line connection on the transformer. If you require more length, use one of the wires on a three wire bundle. Attach the black wire directly to the light switch. Either connection is fine. We have used a single red wire coming off the other connection on the light switch and attached it directly to the line connection on the transformer. If you require more length, you could use a two wire bundle as in our diagram. To test the actuator's ability to open and close the valve, simply plug the 24 volt transformer into the outlet and flip the switch to close the valve. The actuator should turn the valve stem until the valve stem is 90 degrees. 
the flow direction of the valve body and close the valve. Look through the valve body to verify that the valve is closed. Now flip the switch to open the valve. The actuator should turn the valve stem connection until the valve stem is parallel to the valve body and open the valve. Look through the valve body to verify that the valve is open. We have successfully completed a test of the motorized ball valve and wiring, and you can now connect this valve to your plumbing and be assured it will function. And one last thing to remember is that in the event of a power outage, the valve will remain in its current state and not change when power is restored. So if all power is lost, if the valve was in an open state, it will remain open. If you do have a manual switch version like the one we have here, you will be able to open or close the valve even during a power loss with ease. Now that we've shown you the basics of how to wire the on-off style actuator to a power supply and switch, you should be able to integrate this into any system.